Hello everybody, hope everybody's doing great today. And today we're talking about the Korean drama, Little Women. It's about three sisters who are poor. It takes on a wealthy and influential uh, family in Korea. Uh, this wealthy family is involved, not only are they extremely wealthy, but they're involved in politics. And the show really hits on like uh, the advantages that the rich will have over the poor people. Uh, we see that these, uh, these women, these three sisters uh, really have to struggle and fight to take down his family because of the influence that this wealthy family have. Uh, they control the media, law enforcement, you know, and even when stuff comes out about them, they're able to spin it into their favor. And so these uh, three sisters are really do struggle to take them down. Uh, to me, the best uh, three episodes of this is probably episodes eight, nine, and 10 of the show are really the best we see at this point that the sisters are finally uh working together especially the oldest two um the third sister to me in this series is kind of like not really important at all we could have probably not even had a third sister just should have focused on the two oldest sisters uh the third sister's main job is to take care of the the daughter you know she's her best friend and she's helping her daughter she's helping the daughter of this family uh, cope with all the argument and stuff that goes on behind closed doors which is another aspect of this show is that to um, don't always believe what you see in the public because uh, what you see in public is not always what's going on behind closed doors and this is really true with this uh, powerful family and so the daughter just kind of helps the I mean the third sister kind of helps the daughter overcome the trauma that she's having and she really plays no role and to taking down his family. And she's not really not needed. Like the character is really not needed or even important. Uh, she's just kind of like a, to me, she's kind of like a filler uh, character. In fact, in the beginning of the episode, she's kind of more of a de detrimental to her own sisters and their cause and to finding out what's going on with this wealthy family and to uh, expose how evil this family is because uh, she's, at the beginning she takes the family side because she wants to be part she wants to be rich she wants to be uh i don't know about rich but she wants to have that kind of uh family life and that's what she thinks is this family is is very connected and loving and stuff and so she wants to be part of that but later on she kind of feels she kind of sees the truth of this family uh but even though she sees this truth she doesn't really uh, help her sisters in any way bring this family down uh, in fact, she just runs away with the, with their daughter. And then she's not even really in the last three or four episodes um, at all until the very end of episode 12 is when she reappears. And she only reappears because um, somebody, I, I don't want to give the ending, but she only reappears uh, to give the sister something. That's all we're going to say, uh, which is something that they didn't really need at the time time because they already accomplished their goals and such uh is this an extra uh we'll call it an award for what they did um but anyways yeah so episodes 8 9 and 10 <coughs> are probably the three best episodes of the story uh episode 11 it's it's good because as episode 10 <coughs> i'm sorry the sisters finally get what they trying to do but there's consequences to their victory at the episode 10 and it really hits hard and it's episode 11 that um you know once the sisters accomplish what they're trying to accomplish in episode 10 this wealthy family goes at them hard and it really makes them pay the price for their success uh, which is pretty good for episode 11 uh, but it, the series kind of winds down there and then you have uh, a surprise at the end of episode 11 begin episode 12 I kind of, I don't want to give too much away, but I kind of feel like uh, it was unneeded. And that this uh, character that shows up should have stayed gone. I'm just going to say that. It should have stayed gone. Um, I probably gave it too much once you start watching this. Uh, but I think they just wanted to do it for like a surprise to kind of thing. Like, you know, oh my gosh, this character's still around type of thing. Um, but 8, 9, 10 is the best. Uh, episode six, the ending of it really turns the game around, uh, because there's an important death that happens that really, uh, propels these sisters to come together 
uh, especially the older two sisters to come together to work finally work together to take this family down uh, we see that a lot of the uh, reasons why at the beginning these sisters are not able to succeed is because they're uh, even though they're working on the same uh, case from different angles you know for this family like uh, the oldest sister uh, she gets two billion yuan and then uh, she gets another 70 billion yuan into her bank account because she's best friends with a uh, with her co-worker who ends up embezzling his money she gives it to her and then she supposedly commits suicide uh, so they're trying to so she's trying to figure out if her best friend really committed suicide because it doesn't make sense uh, and then she uh, runs into another guy who's investigating the embezzlement and he ends up dying in a mysterious way and there's she finds out that there's two things that connect the suicide and the uh sorry that is suicide and the um the mysterious death of this guy and then it was that there's a blue orchard orchid i hope i'm pronouncing that right uh so she's investigating their death so then we have our middle sister who's a journalist and she's very like like uh everything is black and white to her like either good or it's bad and she doesn't believe in doing uh, things that are wrong to get a good outcome. Uh, so she won't step over that line. And sometimes it's frustrating, but it's good. I mean, it's good to have a character that way that has a moral compass like that. I think it's a good uh, positive example for people to see, uh, especially when you see this character succeed uh, by not crossing that line. Uh, and then she's, uh, she is um, investigating an event that happened five years ago with this uh, bank where uh, everybody lost their money through some bank fraud. And so this bank is also connected to this powerful and influential family. Uh, so we have the oldest sister and the middle sister working, basically working on the same case from different aspects. They just don't know it. And the separation and sometimes they get arguments. At the beginning, we see, the, see them working against each other and they can't really progress to help take this family down. While at this time, at the beginning, we see how this powerful and influential family, they're all united in their goals and in their uh, conviction. And they're easy, they, it's easy for them to manipulate these sisters into doing what they want them to do, take the actions they want them to do. So well, after episode six is really where the two older sisters start to gel together. And we see that once that happens, they start to make progress into taking uh, taking this family down. Um, so, yeah, so I think, that's, I think that's it. I had to stop there for a minute to see if there's anything else I wanted to say. Uh, but that's it, after theory, like the uh, the show is really great. Um, the first two here, eight minutes, we usually grade our uh, reviews on three levels. Either uh, we grade it as a uh, must see, which means that we think about 80 to 100 percent of the people will like it uh we see it as a uh, recommend with caution which means that eh, about 50 50 will watch it and um uh, not recommend at all which means we think that hardly anybody will watch this i'm gonna say i recommend this one i think majority of people will like this show uh it's mysterious you got these uh, sisters investigating trying to come up with clues to take this family down uh we see how uh People who have in high society who have the means are able to uh, influence media coverage and to cover them for them. And how, because they're rich, uh, people will just believe what they say, uh, especially if they're a politician kind of thing with great influence. Uh, we get all that good stuff in here. Uh, so it's fantastic. And it's time for me to go. Have a great day and bye.